husband Dave and I have a new family member. Here he is. Look at that face. His name is Nauta, and he's a three-month-old Shiba Inu, and this week's cake is inspired by him. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a Minecraft cake. I've wanted to make a Minecraft cake for a long time now. Well, technically I have made a Minecraft cake before a few years back, and I liked that one okay. But I really wanted to build a Minecraft cake using individual blocks. But at the time, I couldn't find a block mold. So I just painted little squares on the cake to create the illusion of blocks. But now I have the perfect block molds. And I have Audrey, who is one of my viewers, to thank. Because she showed me a really amazing Minecraft cake that she and her daughter made using this mold that she found online. I tagged the square mold in this video in case you want to make your own Minecraft cake. Or if you just want to make cute little baby ice cubes. <laughs> Minecraft has been around long enough that a lot of people find it nostalgic. Some of you have probably been playing like as long as you can remember. It's really neat. I've even heard people talk about the relationships that they built while playing the game. I love how video games can take you back in time. Over the past couple weeks, I've been playing Mario 64 on my Switch and it's been a nostalgic overload, especially the music. The music is so familiar, even though I haven't heard it in decades. I keep having these moments moments while I'm playing where I remember things from when I was young. And I'm not just remembering things in the game, but things that I was doing in real life at that time. Like sitting on the floor in my basement with my brother taking turns playing games. Between turns, we both used to sit next to the floor vent because it would blast warm air during the winter <laughs> and it felt so good. What's a game that you played that gives you that nostalgic feeling? Are you up for a challenge? Then check out the Trials of BD on Steam. Winner of the best platformer at the 2022 Cleveland Gaming Classic. The Trials of BD is a super fun 2D side-scrolling platformer that will really put your gaming skills to the test. Play for fun or speed run as fast as you can. You can die as many times as you'd like, but there are no save points and no continues. Think you have what it takes? Use the link in the description or this QR code to get the Trials of BD today. Available only on Steam. And now back to the cake. Now I gotta tell ya, building a Minecraft cake with individual quarter inch blocks takes patience and a little bit of math. I counted every single row and block on this cake, so it's an exact replica of a Minecraft dog. Well, I guess it's a wolf. A wolf that'll be tamed once I add that red collar. <laughs> Just like Minecraft, not everyone's gonna be into this type of cake. If you're the kind of person who likes to work on a tedious project and then slowly watch it come together until you create this edible epic masterpiece Peace then this cake is for you. Personally, I find it very rewarding. Before I started, I did a little brainstorming. I tried my best to figure out the easiest and most importantly, cleanest way to make this cake. Because I knew going in that if the blocks weren't lined up in a clean grid pattern, it would create a gap that would affect the whole cake. And that would cause me to have a hard time making it all fit together. So I decided my best chance of success was to build walls of chocolate blocks and then assemble the walls around the cake. It took a little time and I had to be patient, but it definitely worked. I used clear edible adhesive to assemble the blocks, but I'm pretty confident that melted chocolate would do the trick too. Once I decided to make a Minecraft cake and I figured out how to assemble it, I had to figure out what I was gonna make. I could make anything. <laughs> Minecraft is endless. Do I make an object, person, a building, or even an entire outdoor scene? For my first try making a cake like this, I knew that I wanted to make something that wasn't too elaborate, but also it wasn't too easy either. And that's when I let my real life situation influence my cake. And I decided to make a dog because as I showed you, earlier, I got a new puppy named Nauta. I am so happy to celebrate having a puppy with a cake of a puppy. Well, I didn't have a puppy, but I got a puppy. <laughs> Since he's just a puppy, he needs a lot of attention and I am all about it. I'm really excited that I get to train him and watch him grow. He's already showing good boy behavior and I know he's not gonna be a pup for long. So I am trying my best to appreciate his youth while I can. In just a few months, I'm not gonna be able to easily pick him up and give him hugs. So I gotta do it while there's still time. In fact, I'm holding him right now. I bet I'm gonna look back at this video a year from now and say, Ooh, look how little he was.
was. Predictable dog parent. I learned a lot while making this cake, and there are some things that I would change to make the process go a little faster. In fact, I think I wanna make another Minecraft cake soon. What do you think I should make next time? Or are there other 3D 8-bit characters that I could recreate using chocolate blocks? I'd love to hear your ideas. And there you have it, a Minecraft dog cake. I really wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to pull this one off, but I love the way it turned out. Now I already know that this is gonna be a wild cake cutting. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's cut the cake. <laughs> Holy moly, okay. <laughs> That was so fun. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for a brand new cake every week. I'll see you next week for another cake.